guys, this is Travel Foodie Life. Today we are actually traveling a little bit south of Tucson, Arizona to a town called Bisbee. It's a historical town um, and it's located really close to Tombstone, which is another hot visitor location. I've actually never been to either town even though I've been in Tucson for a pretty long time. So I'm pretty excited about this and hopefully we're gonna go down and see a mine today. We'll probably check out some food and also some historical places. So, let's get going. Quarter mile, take the exit toward Main Street, Naco Road. So we're here in Bisbee, we're about to go on these mine tours. I've never been down in a mine, it sounds a little scary. Uh, we're going on this little tiny train thing and uh, we're gonna have helmets on and stuff so I guess it's supposed to be safe. Um, it's gonna be dark and cold down there but it should be pretty exciting so we're gonna give this a try. Come on with us, woohoo. Look at this, only $2.49. This is awesome. Here's a little bit of history. It says, uh, rich copper mines transformed Bisbee from a rough camp in the late 1800s to one of the largest, most cultured cities. Oh, okay. So I guess this was a pretty big place back in the day. More than 8 billion pounds of copper a year, that's insane. I'm very excited right now. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Is everybody set to go? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. That was a pretty poor performance, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Is everybody ready to go? Yeah. Yes. All right, we'll head on in. Even though there are over 143 miles of track and tunnel wow. underground due to all the years of mining here in Bisbee. Yeah, quite a bit. The tunnel we're sitting in right now was driven back into this mountain in the year 1915 to get back to the areas where they're mining copper at. So this is basically just a haulage tunnel where we're at. And the reason I tell people that when we're sitting right here is I hate to see some of you looking all around with your lamps pretty pretty copper silver gold mineralization in this tunnel guys there's none <laughs> <laughs> but at our next stop we'll be able to get off the train and walk up into an old mining area and check some copper mineralization in this little place no smoking matches smoking matches yeah Place on fire, Ladies and gentlemen, we're now 700 feet back into this mountain. Right up behind me, about 36 wooden steps, is an old mining area we can walk up and take a look at. If you would please get off on the left hand side and we'll take a walk up. Uh, that 
Anybody know what this type of mining car was used for right here? The latrine. Exactly right, right there. I've heard of uh, making biscuits, making soup in the oven, but it, 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 this is where the miners went poop underground, folks. This car would not be sitting in a well-lit area like this. This would be down some of a lonesome tunnel out of the way of active mining, and also for personal reasons. Uh, the miners had sarcastic names for it. They call it the honey pot or the honey wagon because of all the wonderful smells coming out of it all the time right there. It had two names that began with an S. The correct one is sanitation card, guys. So that was a pretty cool tour. I would definitely suggest it if you're not afraid of the dark or small spaces. Um, it does get a little creepy, probably level 5 out of 10 on the creepiness scale because you are pretty far down there. And they asked about fatalities and stuff. So it was a little creepy. But anyway, I'm hungry now. So we're gonna go and check out the historic part of Bisbee Town and hopefully get some really good food to eat. So there's these weird rails and they're just in the middle of the road and they go nowhere. Oh look, there's a cute train. So cute! Oh my god. What is that to scare people? <laughs> oh okay. See it's it's something to do with the Bisbee fly swatting contest of August 1912. Okay, so the deal here is there were way too many flies in Bisbee in like around the turn of the century, 1912, and they decided to do this huge fly, fly killing contest. And they killed, according to this little tablet, they killed 500,000 flies. They had a contest. You had to kill them and box them up and send them to uh, their district for proof. It was a great contest. Next year, they got even more flies. So it wasn't effective at all. Awesome. This is what I'm talking about. This is where they personally meet your banking needs, okay? No more of this online banking crap. This is a uh, Bisbee fashion, I think. Just, just in case you give, give up, okay? No, keep going because there's more businesses ahead, okay? So we're gonna keep going. Do you see the cat eyes?
white bean soup. There's just enough flavor of that white bean in there, together with I think some other vegetables, some carrots. Very well balanced, very mild, but also flavorful. potato croquet and I am about to try some this just looks absolutely beautiful and delicious oh and it's so crunchy of course I would like to separate it I can't place it but it's a little bit sour and then there's a second sauce that's brown and that adds an extra layer of flavor it's absolutely delicious do you know that you have a knife no So it's absolutely delicious. That I can 